Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can trouble shoot uh, an add-on called Shoots Rain Pro. And it's a pretty good add-on. Let me see. Let, let's, let me go to the site where it is. Now, what this add-on does is that it uses Blender's built-in terrain generator to generate terrains. And on top of that, you can it adds textures to the terrains, and it adds trees and grass and rocks and things of that nature. Now the pro version is $39 and the true terrain light is $25. And it says, let me open that back up again. It says it works in, let me see, 2.8, 2.81, 2.82 and 2.83. Uh, but for 2.8, I've tried it in 2.8 and it doesn't really work that well. And I'll show you what I mean. In 2.81, it works, but you have to kind of, you know, tinker with it a little bit to get it to work properly but let's go to 2.8 first now this is 2.8 and I'm going to delete the, the uh, default cube by pressing delete and I'm going to navigate to where true terrain is uh, the, the add-on is an add landscape we're going to stick with the default landscape but let's press W shade smooth to get a better visual of our landscape here you can change the parameters in it but I'm just trying to show you how you can troubleshoot it in 2.81 like I said in 2.8 it doesn't work but I'm going to show you how why it doesn't work now we're going to use grass in this let's click on grass because it gives you a better representation of what you're looking at and we're going to go to the viewpoint shader which would be the look dev or the material shader let's click on that and then we're going to click on add material let's give it a few minutes and this is what you get it doesn't <coughs> pretty much map the textures onto the mesh well at all it doesn't do it at all usually when this happens it means that blender does no if you're using a uv unwrapped texture or you're just using a basic mesh uh, to lay your texture on and i've tinkered in the note editor before to try to troubleshoot this but for some reason it nothing seems to work so in 2.8 it will generate the uh, landscape because Blender already has this generator, generator landscape built into it but it will not lay the texture down properly onto the mesh so it really doesn't work as advertised and 2.81 let's open that up I'm going to do the same thing delete the default cube I'm going to navigate to where true terrain is there that is at landscape same landscape same setup W shade smooth go to the texture viewport and I'm going to turn the ground from rock to grass and click add material give that a few minutes and this is what happens which is not supposed to happen now in 2.8 you would think well hey you can just change the the preview and I've done that I've changed it to output shader displacement full material everything in 2.8 and it just still doesn't generate the right texture and 2.81 it does this which this is not the proper texture to have because this is supposed to be grass on top of rock but as you can see it's rock on rock now let's go to the in order to fix this part of it, the texture part of it what I've seen that works for me is I'm going to go to the uh, render properties, click on that, turn it from EV to cycles, I'll turn the GPU to GPU because it's faster and I'm going to click on the viewport to be cycles and then you get this now you shouldn't freak out uh, this is just the placement is way too high I don't know why it's like that it's straight out of the box but when this happens to you when you use True Terrain Pro don't panic just go to the displacement, click on that, go to point O one, enter. And let's go down to rock, do the same thing in displacement. Click on that, point O one, enter. And now you have the right layout when it comes to the texture that you've added to your viewport. And then when you, you go back to the texture viewport, now it's right. So that's how you can troubleshoot True Terrain Pro in Blender 2.81. In 2.8, it doesn't really work. The texture layout doesn't work. In 2.81, troubleshoot it by 
changing your viewport after you've picked your texture, changing it from uh, into cycles, but make sure you turn EV and in your render settings, turn it from EV to cycles. Or else, if you click on EV when it's the texture's wrong, it's just, the texture's going to stay wrong. So now that you set that up properly, and then with the uh, bump map itself of the displacement, turn it from 1 to 0.01 here for the ground, and the same thing for the rock from, I think it was 5 or something here, just turn it, or 0.5, turn it to 0.01, and then you're fine. And then from here on out, you can choose whatever texture you want, and it'll map the textures correctly. Let's click on that. And now it's mapping the textures correctly after you've done those, that all that troubleshooting. So yeah, that's how you can use True Terrain Pro in Blender 2.81 effectively. When it comes to 2.82 and 2.83, I really don't know if it works or not. So I just got hit by a trolley horse in my calf. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just kind of jumped up there. But yeah, so that's how you can troubleshoot it in 2.81. I don't know how it is in 2.82 or 2.83. I haven't tested it in those versions of Blender yet. But yeah, when it comes to True Train Pro, it's a pretty good add-on, but it needs some tinkering to, in order to forget for it to work properly. But uh, thank you guys who have been watching my tutorials and who have watched this one. Appreciate you guys. And thank you guys who will subscribe in the future also. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.